Still think AI can't take over the world? Watch till the end and let me what? There. And it's really cool to play a small part in that. Now we have two main goals. First, you need to move your muscle or your phantom finger and immediately see response. So this is one direction of research. The other direction is to make it more accurate. Being able to type on a keyboard, use a computer mouse, uh, open a water bottle, things like that, that that most people take for granted. It's kind of like a you know sci-fi movie, uh, soon to be written. <laughs> Give us five, right? <laughs> That's awkward as well. Oh, robot to robot hand. Nice. That's that was real, right? Yeah. If I find out you guys had a button under that desk. No, no, I promise. I promise. What began as one man's pursuit to innovate music through AI and robotics unexpectedly became something much greater. A human body cooperating with a bionic hand is one thing. But is it possible to humanize a machine to the point that it truly seems lifelike? Or is that still sci-fi and far, far away? Like and subscribe to survive the age of AI.